Great lineup. Are we drinking? Yes, we're drinking. Excellent. Yes, good. Of course. Well, you're required to, but I mean, <laughs> besides that. Uh, my people, uh, the alcoholics, uh, we're not picky. Uh, so this is my favorite drink, uh, Captain and Diet. Uh, anyone else? Yes, good. Uh, that's my favorite drink of all time. But I'll adapt to my surroundings, right? If I go to like a shitty like dive bar or something, I'm just like, I'll have a Captain and Diet. They're like, oh, um, uh, we got Admiral Nelson and RC Cola. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. The biggest glass you have. Uh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, three dollars. That's <laughs> dive bar. Then you go out after bar, you know, it's like a party. It's like four in the morning. It's like, all right, Captain, diet. Um, blah. We uh, got backwash gin and expired Capri Sun. Yes, <laughs> let's do this. Fill it up. Got any surge? <laughs> Ecto cooler. Kool-Aid bursts. From my generation. Kool-Aid burst was just a, like a plastic thing of sugar that cut your mouth when you drank it. That's... <laughs> That's what our, that my parents did when we were thirsty. Not water, just here's a bunch of sugar. I can't believe all our kids are fat. <laughs> I was, I was, I was a big kid. Like I, I used to be like 240 pounds, I was my heaviest. Uh, I lost like 70 pounds. I'm just realizing like, I thought I was gonna be a model and I'm just realizing how big my head is. <laughs> like I'm slowly becoming a bobblehead. Also, I didn't know I had giant ears until you got skinny. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, I have features. <laughs> it's all just absorbed. I, uh, I had a recent interview at my job, and they was like, well, what's your, what's your greatest uh, weakness? I was like, uh, free beer. <laughs> like, okay, well, then what's your greatest strength? I'm like, uh, abusing the free beer privilege. <laughs> I got it. Good job. The only thing that drunks are picky about is water. You ever try to give someone water who's hammered? It's like showing them a picture of their grandma naked. They're like, no! Why are you doing this to me? I'm never going to be the same. Drink some water. You drink some water. And they vomit and pass out in front of the toilet. Right? You got to pick them up and carry them out of the party. They're like, sorry about my wife. <laughs> Dad, this will not happen the next baptism. That's a promise. We need a ride because I'm just barely holding on. I, uh, I grew up Catholic. Anyone else? Yes, Survivors Club. Woo. We did it. But uh, the weirdest thing uh, for the growing up Catholic is the First Communion. Uh, that's when you start uh, eating and drinking Jesus. That's just a quick breakdown of what that is. <laughs> just simplifying it. So what they do is when you're eight years old, they take you out of class when you're like in second grade and they bring you behind the church. And when you're growing up, it's this magical place. You know, there's like organ playing and all these things and banners and colors. And you just go back there. It's just dust and robes and crackers. And so they give you the host. And you taste that. And they give you a little cup of wine. They're like, well, take a sip. You know, everyone takes a sip. You know, one girl downed it, you know. She was running around recess drunk, you know, blowing everybody. You guys, that didn't happen. We were eight years old. I didn't had no idea what this was. I had no I could barely pee at eight. I could barely take it out of my underwear without it. <laughs> Wasn't trained properly. So you do that, and then like a month later, you go through an hour-long ceremony in church. And then you can legally drink in church 13 years before the law says you can. <laughs> guys, that's crazy. That's like if I told you you could drive when you were three, but only in the church parking lot. What? Uh, I, uh, I'm married. I have a, a child now, uh, one of those boy ones. It's fine. Um, we kind of wanted a boy. I mean, we obviously didn't care, but even my wife was like, yeah, I was a girl. That was terrible. Let's not have one of those. When we went to the doctor, uh, we, we, and we found out, the doctor's like, oh, I know. You seem emotional. This is a great moment. We're like, no, no, we're just never used to getting what we want. Like, this is a huge win for us right now as a team. <laughs> Bunch of bad luck right in a row, and then boom, boy, penis. Uh, if you've never had a uh, child, I'll kind of give you the breakdown of what a 10-month-old is kind of like. It's super fun. Uh, so I still have a day job, uh, as you can tell. And so, uh, <laughs> well, no, here's the thing. I actually have a day job because my wife went to a private college. That's why. 
If you, don't want, if you want to know the difference between a private and a public college, just take $80,000 and like stack it up. Just like take an Instagram pic or something and then just burn it. That's literally the only difference. <laughs> So I go and I pick up the baby, you know, I go for a babysitter and she's like, oh, he was an angel. Nope, not when I get him. He just immediately starts screaming for some reason, probably something she didn't, didn't feed him or sleep or whatever. So, okay, so I can't, you know, enjoy my 10 minutes home. Why would I want to do that, right? Why would I want to listen to a podcast or music? It's just screaming, screaming, babbling, blah, 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 blah. So I get home, there's barely a kiss anymore. I just have to hand him off to her because, you know, he, she has to feed him because those aren't mine anymore either. That's super fun. All right, and so <laughs> I can't even touch him. I'm like, ah, milk. Great, thanks. All right, and then so, you know, then as soon as I pass him off, and she's feeding him. She's like, well, what's for dinner? It's like, oh, great. We had eight goddamn hours to talk about this. Right now is the perfect time. Right. You could have texted me once. Nope. All right. So then, you know, I got to go in the f thing and get some, look in the cupboards because I didn't go grocery shopping this week because we go every other week because I don't take a list and then I forget things. So she hates me. All right. So then I take out some wheat pasta. I didn't know we had wheat pasta. I'm like, what? And did you guys know think there's measurements on there? I had no idea. I just threw things into a pot. So I started making that and I'm like, I can't just have pasta. I'm not poor. And so I started making some vegetables and I'm like, well, we should have some meat as well, right? So I find some turkey pepperoni. I didn't know we had that. Uh, and then some bacon bits. I mean, we're, we're not rich. We can't have real bacon. All right, so then <laughs> got to throw that in the pot. And we're screwing all that in, and I'm like, just like, oh, well, this is not going to cook at the same time. So I take an egg pan. I didn't know an egg pan existed before I was married. I'm like, one egg, what? All right, so then I do that, and then I have the eggs and the uh, turkey pepperoni, and I put that, you know, into the egg pan. And of course, that was olive oil, and I didn't forgot that, so that burns immediately. So I got burnt meat and undercooked vegetables and shitty pasta, clearly. All right, so I got to shovel that all in while I'm trying to talk to my wife and feed my kid, because right now he's 10 months, so he does puree, puree, real food puff in that order or he screams. Super great. So I got to shovel that down being like, people don't believe in science. Can you believe this shit? All right. And then I got to do that. So then after we're eating, when we put him in pajamas, I got to take the dog outside. And even though we spent $150 on her goddamn dog lesson, she still barks every fucking tree in the neighborhood. So then I got to bring her inside. And then afterwards we put him to sleep. You know, I used to be like, when I was married, I was like, woo, I'm having sex eight times a month. Now I can barely make it through Survivor before passing out on the couch. All right. And that's what sucks is when you're growing up, you're watching shitty movies like American Beauty, where Kevin Spacey has that scene for the, he's like, the best five minutes of my life is when I wake up and masturbate in the shower. And I'm like 16, I'm like, ha ha, what a douche. Nope, 32. <laughs> That's my time, you guys. I'm Johnny, and thank you so much. Thank you.